We just cleared the leeches, and now we can be fed. All right, cool. All right, three more, and we... Ah. Uh... Okay, that was a little weird, but you know what? We're not going to question it. What is going on, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Ark the Center. Last we left off, we tamed the Vectospinus over here. The basically Indovectus. This guy is a female, so if we want to tame another one, we're going to have to get a male. This was like a 135. We've got three more levels. Let's level up in health. Try to get that to 100,000 if we can. That would be golden. So yeah, in last episode, we tamed up the Vectospinus, which honestly is really cool looking. But yeah, in today's video, we're going to finally try to do it. We're going to see if we can tame ourselves a Shastasaurus. Attempt to tame it. But before we even do that, I would like to go back to the volcano to try and tame that max level male Rex. Just in case it has better stats than the male that we do have. Because we've got the 145 male, but the thing with it is, it did lose taming effectiveness. Because that stupid Anzu attacked us. It came out at a level 211 when it should have came out at a level 217. But yeah, there's that. And we've got the max level female, which came out at a 225. But yeah... We're going to go after the max level male first before we go after the Shastasaurus because I need to create some goggles anyway so we can better see in the ocean. Because the gecko's great for breathing underwater, but it's not it doesn't work as much for goggles. So we're going to go get some goggles. But before we even do that, thank you guys so much for 1000 subscribers on the channel. I, I really appreciate it. I mean, I knew it could be done, but at the same time, excuse you, but at the same time, I didn't think it would be done for a very long time. But here we are. We reached a thousand subscribers on the channel. Thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. Mufasa here says thank you, and everyone else here says thank you. I we really appreciate it. So. We appreciate your support, and, uh, yeah, thank you so much. But, yeah, anyway, now that we got that out of the way, let's turn you into a shoulder pet. All right, now that we've turned you into a shoulder pet, let's get the D-Arc, and where is this max level Rex on the map? Somewhere that way. All right, we're going to go grab it right away. Actually, first, let's make the goggles so we have them. So, yeah, we're going to make the goggles first. All right, we should be good. Let me go get some, uh... What, what did I want to get? Hmm. Oh, kibble. Let me take some of that kibble out. We'll take about 25. That should be good. Alright, let's go after this Rex. So which way is it? It's this way. For real this time. Let's go out and get that Rex. But first, let's save the game. There we go. Alright, just in case it crashes. And I'm thinking if the Shastasaurus goes well, then we could do next what we could do next episode is tame that 140 Nothosaurus and that 130 Quetzal. Because I'd like to tame a Quetzal, and I think it'll be easily done because we could shoot off the back of this guy. So that should be relatively easy. So let's head over to the volcano, tame up that max level male Rex. If we can. We got the pyromane just in case there's anything around that could attack it. And, uh, yeah. We should be good to go. So, I will see you guys in the volcano map. Uh, transform, please. Thank you. Alright, let's go after this guy. I'm gonna quickly tame this guy, and then we're gonna go from there. Yeah, even the baby's a max level. It's funny how when we came across the max level female back in episode 7, that had a baby. 
And this max level male also has a baby. So hopefully this guy has really good stats. That's what I'm hoping on. Alright, don't run into that, Rex. Thank you. I believe I did see a Vecta Spinus as well. I'd love to tame it. What? Well, like, or at least see what level it is. You ran into it again, Mufasa. You dumb idiot. Yeah, after we knock this guy out, I'd like to see what level that Vecta Spinus is. And down he goes. Awesome. Alright, let's look around. Hello, Vecta Spinus. That's a 140 male. That is a 140 male. Alright, we'll we'll keep that in mind. We'll keep that in mind. I don't have the rail gun on me. Um let's go ahead and give you you just take the one kibble, right? Oh no, you take two. I'll give you two just in case. You know, I'll give you a third one. Alright. Good job, Mufasa. Change of plans. I'm gonna go back to base, get the rail gun, tame up that 140 Vecta Spinus. And then, we'll go after the Shastasaurus. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Alright. So I'll see you guys back at base. And then, or I'll see you guys near the Vecta Spinus. And then we'll tame the 140 up, so then we'll have a breeding pair anyway. Alright. There's, there's like a raptor attacking it. Hopefully you're winning, Mr. Vecta Spinus. Yep. Looks like you are winning, so... Alright, that's one hit. We're back to the Vecta Spinus. And down it goes. Awesome. Alright. We should be good to go. You should tame with just the one. There's a raptor. I'm just gonna kill this raptor real quick. You should tame with just the one. Yep, just the one. Alright. I'm gonna give you two, just in case. I don't know if I should babysit you or not, but... Whatever. It is what it is. Alright. Mufasa, good job, as always. Alright, we'll leave those guys there. They should tame up with no problem. We'll head back to base. We'll get our goggles. We'll get the gecko. And then we should be good to go from there. So I'll see you guys back at base once again. Does the railgun work on anything other than the Vecta Spinus? Let's take a look. It does! So we can use this to tame other stuff as well. I just knocked out that Parasaur with that. Alright, so that's good to know that this railgun actually works on other things. <sighs> and we are finally back at base. I'm just gonna let those two tame. And then we should be all set to go. Depending on who tames first, I think the Rex might tame first. But the Vecta Spinus might tame first. Uh, we got a Raptor attacking the base. Of course we do. Alright, well, as always, Mufasa, stellar job. You can stay here for the time being. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, get our everything we need. I'll get a couple more kibble, like, just in case. Alright, that should be everything. Now let's go ahead and put on the mask so we can see a little better. Hopefully this will allow us to see better under the water. Alright, we should be fine. We shouldn't have to worry about the... Alright, let's test this out. Oh yeah, this looks way better. Way better, I think. Now, we do need an Ichthy for this. Because the Shastasaurus will act aggressive towards everything else. And we... There's Precious right there. How, how you doing, Precious? Alright, so if I remember correctly, this guy was... Oh yeah, this is much better. This guy was near the air bubble. We kind of have to get it... There it is. 
It's right behind us. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Let's lure this guy to the surface. Luckily, he seems very interested. Let's get him a little close to the surface. There we go. He's coming up. He's coming up. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's starting to talk. All right. Let's swim over to the surface. All right. Get a little faster. And... All right. It just takes the one hit. Good. All right. That's one. And... All right. He's ready to be fed. Okay. 20%. Okay. That should take four more. All right. Cool. Cool. This is good. A lot easier than I thought it would be. Okay. I don't think we'll be able to get the saddle just yet. The Vectospinus just tamed up. That's good. And we're just waiting on the Rex. Alright. As long as we have the sickle and we get to the leeches in time, we should be golden. Alright. We need to get to this. And boom. There we go. We just cleared the leeches, and now we can be fed. Alright, cool. Alright, three more, and we... Ah. Uh... Okay, that was a little weird, but... You know what? We're not gonna question it. Alright, Ikvi. Let me get back on you. We should be good to go. Alright, I don't think that was just his mean of attacking. Alright, there we go. It's time again. Alright, I think he's ready to be fed. Alright, good. We just need to do this one more time. One more time and we'll be good to go. Alright. We're doing well. I'm gonna save just in case. Alright, now it's time to feed you one last time. Let's go. And there we have it. Shastasaurus has been acquired. Here we go. We got the Shastasaurus dossier unlocked. Awesome. All right, where's the Ichthy? Ichthy, where are you? There you are. Okay. That was relatively easy. All right, let's check your stats. What do you got? 39 points into health, which isn't the greatest. 40 points into melee, 52 points into stamina, that's a first. Usually if it's over 50 points, that's usually into weight. And 40 points into melee, 43 points into weight. So, you know what? That was fun. That was actually fun. Compared to the, what was it, the, uh, the Fasilosuchus? That was a lot of fun. The Fasilosuchus was kind of a pain in the ass. But this guy was actually pretty fun. <laughs> so, I don't know if we'll be able to get a saddle for this guy. Because I did hear that it counts as like a tech item. And the only way you can get the saddle, like learn the saddle, is if you defeat the bosses. At least that's what I've heard anyway. However, I did hear that you can find it in drops. But what I'm going to do for basically content purposes, I'm going to create the saddle in creative mode. You know, just for, just for content purposes. And then we're going to go from there. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit while I get everything ready. Alright, I just went ahead and created the saddle for it. I went in creative mode to create it because I just couldn't be bothered to, you know, get the resources needed for the saddle. And plus it needs the tech replicator, so let's take a look at this guy. Let's see. You are huge. Absolutely jimungus. Let's put the saddle onto you. I'm gonna save the game. Alright, you seem to be relatively slow. We've got the submarine here. And if we wanted to, we could build like under it. Hell yeah, we're inside. Awesome. So yeah, this is the sub. I, um, I made this for content purposes. This is just for content. I know it's kind of cheating, but I made it for content purposes. So, I just wanted to show this guy off. We've got sonar, and we've got free swimming. 
Oh, wait. Oh, we could submerge with space? Okay, so let's see. What's left click? It's the regular bite. Right click. Well, that's like a call, I think. All right, I don't know what that detected. Let me try that again. I'm not sure what that did, but whatever. All right, we got an ichthyosaur kind of following us. All right, let's see what left click does. 723 damage. That's really good really good. And also, I'll try to go into the caves and see if we can find a better saddle, because this guy does have a better saddle, so what is, does right-click do anything, I wonder? I think it just detects whatever fish in the area. Okay, C kind of goes down. X does nothing. Oh, there's a, uh, there's a thing. <laughs> All right, so aim torpedo. Hold right click. Fire torpedo. Cycle ability. Left control. We got cycle ability forward. Oh, okay, it just transforms. Okay, torpedo. Need something to hmm aim torpedo requires torpedoes okay we need torpedoes to do that okay so let's switch over to pulse what does this do all right that's just the regular bite oh that sends things back that's pretty cool, actually. Okay. No idea what that did. Periscope. Oh. Oh, this is nice. A little bit buggy, but... Or a little bit laggy, even. We could see things from up close. That is interesting. What else can we do? Torpedo, pulse, flashbang, sonar, periscope, and torpedo. Oh, that, that is cool. That is really cool. Alright. So that's the Shastasaurus, everybody. Pretty cool, if I do say so myself. You've got the submarine. I don't want you to glitch to the ground. How do we go to... How do we switch over to surface... Whatever. You know, I might leave you a little further into the ocean, just so we can, you know. Ah. Uh, all right, I can't move. For whatever reason, I can't move. There we go. Oh. Wait, did that destroy the saddle? Uh, game. Oh my god, okay, that was close. I thought the game crashed for a second. Alright, well, it keeps the saddle anyway. You know, I'm gonna leave you a little further out here. So we can look around. I think if we wanted to, we could build, like, an underwater base here. And that kind of opens automatically. That's, that's cool. That's cool. All right, let's head back. All right, and we're back at base. So if we land over here, let's compare stats. Let's start with the Vecta Spinus. We'll compare stats. So let's put the two together. So this is the female that we tamed up. We leveled them up a bit. So you had 35 points into health, 30 points into stamina, 35 points into weight, and 34 points into melee. The male had 38 points into health, so already better. Um, get out of here, you. Anyway, 38 points into health, so already better. 32 points into stamina. 
Only 25 points into weight. That's kind of terrible. And 44 points into melee. So he's got way better melee and health, but not as good weight. Kind of terrible weight. All right, so let me put these two Rexes together. All right, so this was the female max level that we tamed up. 41 points into health, 37 points into stamina, 44 points into weight, and 42 points into melee. So pretty good. The best stats are in the 40s. This was the male, the 135, the 145, sorry, that we tamed initially but lost taming effectiveness. 39 points in health, 25 points into stamina, which is terrible. 32 points into weight and 37 points into melee. And this is the new male. 33 points into health, 30, 31 points into stamina, 47 points into melee, or into weight, and 41 points into melee. So it looks like the female has better stats. But this male at least has better stats than the 145. So we'll park you here. So that's the female. And then the male, which came out at a 224, we'll park you here. And then as for the 145, we'll probably put you, like, over here. All right, there we go. We've got everything we need. And with that... Oh, sorry, hold on. We're zoomed out. And with that, that's going to have to wrap it up for this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.